All right, DC Metro, episode 60. Uh, um, this is a series that's largely based on my life. I would say about 90 to 100 percent, and uh, it's uh, okay. That's gonna jiggle around a little bit. Um, it's um, okay. That's. <laughs> How's it going? Whoa. Um, it's uh, it's about me and my life, uh, and it's uh, it's the uh, I'm pitching it to people as the uh, as being the the current the current understanding, or rather the current the current configuration of the ultimate understanding of the universe. Or, ah, the current state of the ultimate understanding of the universe. Um, this movie, uh, this series, is uh, my answer back to everybody that has ever written anything that I've ever read, or uh, filmed anything that I've ever seen, or recorded any music that I've ever heard. Uh, it's my answer back to all of them, uh, with my answer to everything that existence has presented to me over the past... 32 years, and uh, uh, it's it's, uh, it's it's quite a uh, quite an interesting little uh, quite an interesting little project that I've come up with, and, and, and quite a quite an interesting uh, take on existence that I've uh, uh, developed uh, over uh, the past few years. Whoa, whoa, whoa! So um, I've got plenty of tape. I've got a few batteries. I got like three batteries, and uh, hopefully I won't run out of uh, power. Uh, too soon. Um, uh, the, I, this camera angle, these uh, these shots are going to be a little jerky, and are probably going to uh, um, uh, probably going to fluctuate in composition um, uh, severely. Maybe, maybe not too severely. Uh, subtly, uh, it will go from normal to uh, Batman villain lair uh, uh, framing. So, um, but anyway. Um, I guess I'll start with um, things. Okay, uh, the Beatles. First thing, the first thing I remember listening to when I was a kid was the Beatles, and uh, uh, I used to um, I used to sing in the uh, chorus at the uh, Roundhouse Theater up here in uh, Rockville, Aspen Hill, Maryland, and uh, uh, I really enjoyed the music. Uh, it was very, it was very good. Um, I really, uh, I really enjoyed the um, the the musical stylings of uh, Mr. John Lennon, Mr. George Harrison, Mr. Paul McCartney, and Mr. Ringo Starr. And uh, I, uh, I really, I have to go. That's a uh, Mr. Uh, John Lennon over there in the, my uh, uh, invisible uh, realm of uh, realm of perception, uh, as I call it. Um, I guess it's my realm of exposure, as I've been calling it, so, um, uh, those guys are great, uh, but, like, uh, I was singing in the, yeah, they're, 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 right now they're discussing, like, uh, how people will perceive, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the things that they're watching, um, uh, as far as, uh, who I'm interacting with, and, uh, uh, I guess believability, or, um, you know, uh, wondering where you guys are while I'm talking to you. These guys are in a uh, an environment that I've built for them, which is uh, based on uh, the dimensions of my parents' basement, which is where I live right now. Um, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, they uh, they they have their own rooms. The uh, the rooms are about let's see, about nine feet by fifteen feet or so. I have the dimensions back at home written down in my notebook, which is the uh, the master, uh, uh, I guess, uh, um, record uh, uh, thing. Uh, the uh, the records of of, of my uh, my environments, I guess. Lots of lots of other stuff too. However. Um, so like they're fine. They uh, they appear as they did in the uh, late '60s. Um, they they vary uh, from day to day, from moment to moment, as as they wish to be perceived. 
um, very much like uh, different versions of Luke Skywalker action figures uh, from Star Wars. Um, interesting. Okay, so I'll go from that to Star Wars. Um, Star Wars is interesting because uh, at first you watch it, and I, I am writing a screenplay about this, or I've written a screenplay, of, um, I guess I'm writing it, it's about, uh, it's about like uh, 10, 12, 15% complete. It's called Wandering Stars. It's about like uh, seven, um, seven uh, hipsters uh, at a uh, after party uh, at a girl's house, a girl named Stephanie's house. Uh, the hipsters are Greg, based on myself, Lucas, Michael, uh, Katie, Margaret, uh, Allie, and um, uh, Stephanie. Um, they're, uh, they're seven uh, hip hipster scenesters. Uh, and uh, they they're all white uh, that that uh, will uh, that will kind of like uh, uh, except for uh, actually one of the characters has a mystery ethnicity uh, creeping about his uh, background. Uh, uh, I'm not going to mention who it is. You're gonna have to watch the movie. But like as you watch it, you're, you're gonna have to guess which 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 character is impure, not 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 exactly pure white. And uh, we'll see. Uh, We'll see, uh, I guess I'll, I'll put up a website, and then I can like tally the scores, and then you all can see uh, uh, how well you did. And um, uh, the answer will be posted in the audio commentary of, uh, of the uh, DVD of Wandering Stars. Um, so, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, okay, this is sexy. Um, but anyway, um, let's see. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I'm trying to go for that, like... Uh, that, uh, that verite feel, because like, were I to recreate this uh, with a uh, large uh, production company, I would have to have some sort of like, uh, some sort of like mechanism that uh, some guy off camera, or I guess in the back seat, would be operating with a remote control to like, uh, get the, uh, the, get the uh, little like runny nose going, and like, uh, or I could do it in post digitally, and uh, I could get uh, ILM to do that, and uh, you know, um, can you see my breath? I'm like, 